Hey harmonizers, welcome to a Mustang training video. Now it's time to try to actually handle my Mustangs and start to tame them a little bit. And as you can see, they were not super impressed with me trying to get closer to them and not having the round bell feeder between them and I. So they did a fair bit of running and more running than what they did on the first day they arrived. But I think that was because they were pretty tired from the long journey and now that they've had um, a couple days to just eat and get their strength up and get their rest and everything they're feeling more fiery and we're seeing a little bit more action from them in terms of not wanting me to be near them and you'll notice that the mustang that has the little bit of white on his nose this little guy looking at us there he is the braver of the two so he's going to be like always closer to me compared to the one that has the star so the boys will definitely end up needing names but i don't like to name them until i get to know them a little bit more so i'm going to share with you guys some clips from um, the first couple of sessions and kind of progressions with them things are definitely a little bit different with having uh, a daughter at home and trying to manage my time with nap schedules and things like that so they're shorter sessions and I'm only kind of visiting my horses once a day. Whereas uh, in the past, I've had time to go out a couple of times a day. So it's going to be a little bit slower, but that's okay. As long as it's a slow and steady progress. And I'm just going to speed up some of this footage with you to just kind of show you how patient I am with the positive reinforcement. And what I have in my hand there is a handful of freshly picked grass for um, to try to entice them to want to check me out and, and say hello and so I spend a fair bit of time doing this kind of approach and retreat and just offering that grass and respecting that threshold and then I did my actual first touches with the uh, lunge whip just because um, just to keep it a little bit safer give me a little bit of reach just in case they had a reaction didn't want to get kicked in the belly or something like that by and large i find that horses are you know creatures that don't want to fight they don't want to strike out or kick or anything like that their go-to is typically to run away and flee so i'm very aware of making sure that my horses have space to get away and that they don't feel trapped in a situation where they would have to kick me but still just thought it'd be a little safer to use that lunge whip i'm using a lunge whip because it's not a flag and flags are like sticks with flags or plastic on the end of it is what they typically use to sort the mustangs when they're in holding which would obviously be kind of scary for them because they're used to running away from them so the lunge whip is uh, is a little less intimidating of a tool to use and here's just a little clip of franny riding sugar around the pen while i'm actually sitting inside the round bale feeder and just using this as an opportunity to expose the horses to other horses riding around and having um, people around it's kind of nice where our quarantine pen is because it's uh, on the pathway to one of the paddocks so the horses get to see a lot of action that's happening and you can see um, the one Mustang is really watching, the one that's more nervous. He's very aware of what's going on, and the other Mustang is eating hay and just kind of chilling. So this is interesting as the horse comes behind here, they didn't feel the need to run away, which is great. So only the Mustang with the white on the nose was brave enough to eat while I was in the round pen, and the other one did not come anywhere near, or sorry, not the round pen, in the round bell feeder. So here's just another little look at uh, approaching they they still sometimes would run away and i find that they were always kind of going to this particular corner or side of the pen i'm not sure why they favored that particular corner but this seemed to be the corner that made them feel a little bit happier so that's okay and again you'll see that it's the mustang that has a little bit of white on his nose that is the one that's more brave and interested in seeing uh, what it is that I'm up to still scared though because notice that he's just had a little poop there 
which means that he's feeling a, a bunch of emotions and scaring the poop out of him a little bit. So I'm just approaching slowly. I'm gonna rub him with that stick again and then offer him some grass and that positive reinforcement. So every step along the way is just kind of getting a little closer, a little braver, respecting his thresholds, but kind of pushing them a little bit at the same time. And then the other little guy behind him, I haven't really done much with him, but you can see I've got the stick kind of going around both horses there. And he takes a lot of his cues from the other horse, but you'll see in a second, he still gets overwhelmed and runs away sometimes. And I'm not, I don't want to train um, both of the horses just yet. I'm trying to get, decide which one would be for the Maryland challenge and then which one would be for the Georgia challenge. And I'm only training one at this point. So here's another little clip of approaching and coming up to say hello. And I do lots of going away and coming back so they get lots of exposure of me approaching them in the pen. So here's me heading over for offering some grass and approaching. And you can see the one that has the star, he really is quite tense, like he's looking, he's intrigued, but he's definitely keeping an eye on me. And then the one that's closest to me is already looking so much more relaxed and at ease with the whole thing. So here I put the stick on the other horse and you can see he kind of looks at me and I'm just being very slow and then I offer him some grass here and just kind of hold that posture. I start to give it to the other horse and then he just freaks out and he can't take it and, and runs away again. So they end up back in the same corner again and I end up over here and I'm rubbing the Mustang so the one that's closest to me is the one that's gonna be for the Maryland tip challenge. And the one that's further from me will be for the Georgia tip challenge. And the plan at this point is to basically try to get the halter on and get him leading, the one closest to me for Maryland, and get them separated into different pens because even though it's kind of helpful for the skittish one that he sees me working with the other horse, it will make things so much slower if I have to keep them together because um, he has all of these startling moments where he runs away and then that makes the other Mustang run away too. Whereas if I have them um, separated, then it'll be much easier. So I just needed to get them to a point where I could figure out who I wanted to work with and how it was all gonna happen and then separating them out so that way uh, I've got my Maryland horse and my Georgia horse, which technically the Georgia horse's start timeline is, uh, is a little bit after the Maryland time, but I was able to pick up both horses at the same time because, um, because it, it just made things easier for getting across the border and whatnot. And then also because I am big prego, so I will be losing easily a week anyways once all of that comes around which a little update for you guys i found out that my baby is currently sideways which means that i'll have to go to the hospital and they'll have to try to get the baby to turn and go facing south the way she's supposed to and uh, that might very well put me into labor and who knows might end up with an emergency c-section so hoping that that doesn't happen but We'll, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully baby will head south on her own, but otherwise I'm doing what I can with the Mustangs now, and then I'll be prepared to take that break for family time when needed. But otherwise, I hope you guys are enjoying a little Mustang update video. So this kind of shows you the first couple of sessions and kind of some of the things that I did with them. Hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks for watching.